Hey everybody, this is John from DroidDog.com. This morning on Twitter, somebody was telling me about a new launcher they wanted me to try out called ADW Launcher. So I downloaded and installed it and I think it's pretty cool. So I thought I would do a quick review for you guys. Let's get to it. Alright, so if you search the market for ADW, and you can tell I've already done that there, you'll find a free app by Anderweb. Mine is already installed. I'll just show you the description real quick. Open source home replacement app, customizable desktop previews, customizable application drawer, customizable drag and drop action buttons. Unveil the dock bar flicking up the app drawer button and drop another six shortcuts, folders, apps. So uh, after you have this installed and you hit your home button, you'll see the option there to select ADW Launcher. And this is uh, probably, as far as I'm aware, the closest thing you can get to Froyo in terms of a launcher uh, in the market right now. And it's free. So uh, what the description was saying there about action buttons are these little panels next to the app drawer. And you can simply drag and drop, whoops, drag and drop shortcuts there. And uh, you also heard me say that you can drag this up to drop another six icons down below. Now, it's, you can't really tell what's going on here because there's, uh, there's no panel there to show you where you're dropping it, but you can see that the bottom of the screen turns white. So I can drop each of these icons down there. I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to be flicking that. So now I have uh, not only my app drawer and contacts right there at the bottom of the screen at all times, I can bring up an additional six applications by flicking up that little panel so that uh, frees up some uh, icon space on my home screen and allows me to access more apps without going into the application drawer. Now I have not tried doing this with a folder yet so let's do that right now. And since you cannot remove a shortcut from that panel I'm just going to try to replace it with a folder and see what happens. So that worked and it would just launch the folder if I tapped it. So that's uh, pretty handy. Uh, you have five screens here but this can all be changed um, as with most home replacements at this point, if you hit the menu from your home screen and go into ADW settings, um, there's actually quite a bit you can, you can uh, tweak in here. Screen preferences, um, live wallpaper support, and orientation sensor so that you can uh, go into landscape mode on the home screen, which you can't do by default with uh, most Android phones. Um, hide the status bar. Let's see what that looks like. Whoops, I accidentally hit my launcher. So now I have no status bar. I don't know how to get it back though, um, other than going into these settings. I don't know if there's a you know, gesture or a tap that you can bring that back with. It looks like it's just a hide or show. The number of screens you want goes up to seven, goes down to two. Okay, and after you change that setting, you need to uh, restart the launcher or it will force close. Uh, but I left it at what it was at, so. Default screen, which of those screens do you want it to show when you hit the home button? The scrolling speed. Oh, the lower the, fat, the value. Let's try it really slow. Let's see how that looks. desktop overshoot and that's like the bounce back when you flick from one screen to another. So you see how it gets kind of springy there. Drawer settings. The zoom effect speed. So let's slow that one down and try it out. Oh, I can also hit the home button right here, which should go straight to ADW Launcher. Yes, it does. I'll use the Samsung Galaxy S implementation versus, I wonder which one they're using here if you don't use that. Okay, so this is the side-scrolling app drawer. <laughs> I should speed that up. That's going to... We like the new drawer, animated drawer, whether or not it should animate. 
in the zoom in fast drawer use of opaque solid background to increment the scrolling, the, the scrolling speed. Uh, how many columns you want in, or columns and rows you want in portrait mode and in landscape mode. That's pretty cool. Uh, preview settings. Sense previews. Use the new sense like implementation. Um, you know what? I don't even know what that means. Clean screen mode. Hide home icons widgets when opening previews. Hmm. You know, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Okay, so UI settings, home button binding. Uh, do you want it to go to the default desktop? Show preview. Oh, okay, I know what they're talking about now for previews. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I just wasn't sure on the terminology there. So let's go back in here. Sense previews, clean screen. Oh, so you get rid of the icons. Let's see what kind of previews they use if you don't use the sense ones. Just along the bottom there, like Android. Yeah, and since I don't have much on my screen, you can't see it, but you saw how that got dark there. All right, so that's pretty cool. Show dots, you know, showing you which screen you're on. Enable, disable the new dock bar. Oh, so that just means I can't flick up and get those additional icons. Auto close the dock bar after app launch. Okay, and this is to turn off those, the left action button and the right action button, so that just eliminates them. But that's, uh, you know, pretty much, although it's customizable, that's more like the uh, Froyo uh, dock at the bottom than uh, other home replacements have, have offered, I think. Uh, tint the icons on the, um, those action buttons on the dock, and I've had a, a problem with the scaling and tinting. Let's see if it does it again. No, it worked this time, so you just have like a grayscale version, so that, that looks more like Froyo than if you have the uh, normal colored icons, and you can change the size. Hide the background for the app drawer button, hide the background for the action buttons, and hide icon labels, so. So that's cool, that just uh, makes it all totally transparent. Nothing there. So uh, that's it. Uh, if there's more to this app, uh, let me know. As far as I'm aware, I've covered everything there. And it's a free app. Again, let's go uh, check it out in the market here. Anderweb ADW Space Launcher is how I searched, even though it has a dot in it there, and I found it just fine. Uh, so check it out. Good times.